Jai Gurudev children. How are you all? Good? That's nice. Today, before I start my class, I would like to ask you a few questions. Let me see how many of you can answer this. Okay? Now, what is this? This is a water bottle. Correct. What's that? That can you see on the wall? That is a wall clock. Wonderful. Now, what is this? This is a pen. Now, what are these? These are pens. What are these? These are water bottles. Now, what are those? What are those? Those are books. Correct. Children, if you have observed, I asked you four questions. I asked, what is this? What is that? What are these? What are those? I used four words. And unknowingly, you gave the answer using these four words. Isn't it? I asked you, what is this? You told me, this is a water bottle. I asked, what is that? Then you told me, that is a water bottle. So, you answered it. But do you know when to use this, that, these, those correctly? Shall we learn in today's class? Ready? That's good. Children, look at this picture. She is Seema. She wants to tell us something. Come, let us listen to her. This is my pet cat, Tommy. This is my toy train. That is my friend, Arjun. Seema that is, is pointing to the animal tree. next to her and she is telling that this is my pet cat. Next, she is pointing to the toy and she is telling this is my toy train. Both the cat and the toy train are near to her. And there is only one cat and there is only one train. So, she is telling this is a cat and this is a train. Next, when the things are far, she is peeping through the window and she can see that uh, her friend is playing on the slide in the park. So, she is pointing to him and she is telling that boy is my friend. She can also see the apple tree that is in the park. She is pointing to that apple tree and she is telling that that is an apple tree. Now, let us look into another example. Here we have Rishi. Rishi has a ball next to him. The ball is near to him and there is only one ball. In this case, we should use this. We use this to point to a person, a place, an animal or a thing which is near us. Then when do we use that? There is a balloon over here. But it is far from Rishi. Right? So we have to use that. We use that to point to a person, a place, an animal or a thing which is far away from us. 
Understood, children? Pooja wants to talk about the flowers. There are many flowers and the flowers are near to Pooja. So, what is that word that she has to use in a sentence? It's these. We use these to talk about things near us. Children, when there are things near us and if there are many, we use the word these. So, she is telling these flowers are beautiful. Understood? Now, Pooja wants to talk about the birds. There are many birds and they are far from Pooja. So, what, the, what word should she use? It's those. We use those to talk about things that are not near us. That means, children, when we have to talk about the things that are plural in number, or when there, are, when there are many and if it is far from us, we use the word those. We point the finger to the far place over there or to the far things that are there and we say those. So here she is telling those birds are flying. Understood? Now, Take out your Gulmohar language for life book and open page number 36. Let us try to do some exercises based on this, that, these and those. Grammar and usage. Read these sentences. This goat is black. The boy is telling that the goat which is near him is black. These hens are noisy. This girl is telling that the hens near her, that is the five hens near her are noisy. There are five of them. That means there are many hens and they are near to her. So the word these is used. Next, that is that cow is brown. The cow is far and it, and it is only one cow. So, she is saying that that cow is brown. Those cows are hungry. She is pointing to the cows. That is, there are many cows, more than one. There are three cows and they are far. And they are far from this girl. So, she is telling that those cows are hungry. We use this to talk about one thing. We use these to talk about more than one thing. This points to one thing that is near us. These points to things that is more than one thing near us. This farm. These animals. We use that to talk about one thing that is not near us. We use those to talk about things that are not near us. That house. Those hens. Now Amy, look at the pictures. Complete these sentences with the correct words from the brackets. Dash bird is a pea hen. The bird is near to the man and how many birds can we see? Only one. So, it has to be this. So, they have answered it as this. Now, let us try to do the remaining exercises. Dash woman on the orange scooter is my aunt. She is pointing to the lady who is far from her. So, it has to be that. Very good children. Next one. Dash tree is a coconut tree. The tree is far from the girl or near? The tree is near to the girl. So we have to write 
this next one dash planes are small the planes are very far from this girl and they are and there are two planes exactly so we have to write those planes wonderful children now look at the picture before we read the question how many pineapples does this girl have two and it is far or near it's near to the girl so we have to write dash fruits are pineapple we should write these fruits are pineapples understood very good b mean complete these sentences with this that these or those look at the pictures for help dash picture book is my new book the girl is look pointing to the book that is on the table near her and she is telling this book this picture book is my new book next dash peacock is lovely the peacock is far from this girl and it's only one so she is telling that that peacock is lovely understood children this way we have to continue with the exercises second one dash green shoes are my shoes so what should we write the shoes are near the girl so she has to say these these green shoes are my shoes now here the boy is pointing to the flowers far away from him that means he has to say those flowers are pretty understood third one dash trees are very tall if you observe the picture the children are pointing to the trees that are very far from them so what should we write the answer as those wonderful next dash monkey is naughty there is only one monkey and it is far away from the boy so it has to be that wonderful yes children you are getting it right fourth one dash shop sells books this girl is far away from the shop so it has to be that wonderful that shop sells books dash house is small the house is just behind him so it has to be this this house is small let us revise it before we leave the class okay children if there is a thing or a person or an animal or a place near us we use the word this if there is one place one animal one person far from us we use that if there are many things many people uh, and many animals near us we use the word these if there are many things people places and animals far away from us we use those just to remember this there is a small rhyme i want you to recite along with me it's an action rhyme okay this is a hand these are fingers that is a moon those are stars want to grab them grab 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 shall i sing once again repeat after me this is a hand why do i say this because it's only one hand and it is near me so this is a hand these are fingers why do i say these because there are five fingers and it is close to me near to me so i say these when i say that is a moon have you ever seen moon close to you no not possible no moon is always far away from us and how many moon do we have only one right so we have to say that is a moon 
what about stars there are many stars far from us right so we use those are stars understood so once again this is a hand these are fingers that is a moon those are stars want to grab them grab 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 understood children that's good so see you in next class that's it for today see you in next class jai gurudev